So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So here is a very important update for all the students of Amrita Counseling 2022 that is the schedule has been changed and also they have provided the rule and regulation for this year of counseling process. So I will try to discuss everything that is a step by step here so that you will not do any type of mistake in the counseling process. So if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will be getting all the update at the right time about Amrita as well as other counseling, other entrance exam as well in the same channel. So basically here I will discuss uh, everything related to the counseling process of Amrita up to your admission is done what are the yeah, what are the process that you need to do first of all here you can see the number of brands that is available for this year I have already provided uh, you this information in my last video and already I said about the date that they may change the date again and again because last year also they have done this type of thing so this year also they are changing it so I'm here to update you about all the changes regularly in the same channel so hope you get the number of branches information so here is the eligibility criteria this year they have changed the criteria a little bit for mathematics particularly because math physics chemistry all subject was required to have at least 55 percent but this year for mathematics it is only 50 percent and for physics and chemistry it is 55 percent marks that is minimum and aggregate that is average marks of your class 12 examination or equivalent examination should be 60 percent so hope you get this eligibility criteria and uh, selection process in counseling process is based on the A triple E rank, J e mains rank that is 25% and A triple E is having 70% seat, SAT 3%, Pearson 2% and some of the seat will be given through the management quota as well that is the non-scholarship that is regular fee you will able to get the option in the official website itself. So here is the annual fee structure I think I have already provided you the information that is the new uh, updated fee structure for this year I have already updated you but if you are new to this channel please try to watch it and try to see the uh, scholarship detail and th that is first scholarship is having only 10% seat so to get the slab one it's very difficult but if you will do everything correctly and if your rank is good you will surely able to get this but counseling process is very important that's why I'm here to guide you completely. If you want you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. There is a nominal charge for that. Here is uh, some, uh, some more uh, fee slab uh, uh, detail are available and uh, all is cost and deposit 10,000 for all the campus. It is one time only and hostel fee is uh, available here. That is the very important thing. I think hostel fee I haven't covered in my last video. So here is the information for hostel fee that is for Amravati campus. It is 44,000 it is annual and uh, one time deposit is 5,000 so and the mass fee is around 52,000 per year that is total 1 lakh 1,000 for Amravati for Amritapuri it is 68,000 only for Bangalore 1 lakh 17,000 and for Coimbatore 1 lakh 13,000 and for Chennai it is 1 lakh 1,000 that is the hostel and mess combined fee so hope you get this information very useful for you so now let's talk about the BTEC branches here are all the branches that are available across the five campus of Amrita University so here is the term and condition of a scholarship that is very important please try to listen my word very carefully this is very important information a scholarship fee is allotted for the academic year 2020-2022 to 2023 only that is for first year only you are getting the slab if you will continue the cgpa that is the required criteria then only your slab will be continued now suppose you got slab one then you will have to you will have to score at least eight cgpa or above then you will apply to extend this slab for the next year as well and if you have got slab 2 then 7.5 you have to get and if you will get slab 2 fee a scholarship then you will have to score at least 7.5 cp or above than that in order to secure that slab from next year and for slab 3 also similar type of criteria that is only 7 cp or above, above than that also and also there should be no bad behavior from you during the during the college period in the in the, in the university otherwise they may, they will consider your scholarship as well and clearing all the semester without any error so because uh, once you will fail in the examination obviously they will uh, they will terminate the uh, scholarship and once you fail to meet the meet the condition that is uh, one two three i have i have just discussed sla uh, for slab one it is eight cgpa two seven point five three and for slab three it is seven cgpa if you, if you will fail in that then you will have to pay the higher fee and what is the higher fee just try to listen here i am discussing everything in detail if slab one a student maintains cgp 8 and above that uh, that same fee will continue that is from next year you will have to pay only slab one if your cgpa will be 7.5 to 8 that is between 7.5 to 8 then you will have to pay the slab 2 fee 
and if your if your cgpa will be 7 to 7.5 then you will have to pay the slab 3 if your cgpa will be below 7 uh, 7 cgpa then you will have to pay the slab 4 fee in the subsequent year so i think you got this information very useful for you so now let's talk about in the in the event a student move to higher fee slab due to due to not meeting condition 1 2 3 the student will not be able to move back to the old slab even if, if his her cgpa will improve in further uh, further year that is subsequent year suppose in first year you got the slab one uh, by your uh, by your rank in the in the counseling process and for after after first year in the C, in the first year result you will get 7.5 cgp or more than that then you will have to pay the slab 2 fee and that will remain same for third year fourth year also even if you will get 8 cgp or 9 cgp in the second year or third year so i hope you got this information very useful for you so please try to watch the video till the end so that you will get the more information as well so registration here i think uh, you all have already registered for the counseling process uh, step one is the registration second is allotment and payment that's it here is the academic preference in this way you have to fill that is example chennai cyber security i hope you all have filled and many students are already registered with my guidance so i have guided for the complete choice filling process and also i will be guiding you for the for the complete decision making after each round so that you will not do any mistake and listen my word the decision making of amrita counseling is not easy so if you have all the information do it by yourself otherwise you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number there is a nominal charge for that once you register i will be guiding you completely so that you will get the best out of your rank otherwise you will waste the two years of hard work and you will get the non-desirable branch another will get the advantage of your mistake so hope you get my point so here is the detail about the registration process that is 5000 rupees that is non-refundable but if you will not get any type of seat up to the last round you will get the refund of 5000 and uh, registration does not guarantee a seat or admission that already i have provided you the information in my last video also that is registration doesn't mean you will get the seat it depends totally on the uh, choice whatever you will feel and your and your rank as well applicant are allowed to register for csap at the beginning of each round so this is the important thing this year you have to note it before each round you will able to register for csap it is not like if you will miss the first round you will not able to do the second round for second round also you can register for third round also for the first time you can register so nothing like that if you will miss then also you can register for the subsequent round here same thing has been written that is uh, 13 branches and total 35 academic preference you will able to fill but uh, but every uh, but it is not mandatory to fill all the 35 academic if you are satisfied with only one you can put a, only one five choice 10 choice 15 choice any number of choice you can fill it depends it completely depends on your requirement and your expectation and after filling the choices download the pdf of that that will be used later and here is the information about the seat allotment it is the very important information trial allotment is published for the candidate to understand the possibility of getting the seat it is not the uh, real allotment it is a trial allotment they will just inform you and and you will able to see the trial trial allotment result in your login page with the application number and date of birth and once you uh, receive the otp then you will able to check the trial allotment and this is just the just the prediction what you can get in first round but lots of things will uh, lots of things will change because here you can see that is that after trial allotment choice change is allowed for one day and that i will provide you the schedule also later in this video so that's why many students will change their preferences so that will have an effect on the cutoff and first round you may get the different uh, college as, as well or also you may not get anything so that is also possible because it completely depends on the number of uh, number of a student and the type of preference that you have filled that's why choice filling is very important that's why i'm requesting you do it very carefully if you don't know you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number after tri trial allotment as well so that i will be guiding you completely so that you will do the right choice filling and you will get the best out of your rank by doing the right decision after each round in which i will be helping you up to your admission is done so now uh, provision to change academic preference will be closed within one day that is only one day i already uh, suggested you only one day will be provided after the trial allotment result to change the choices and uh, here is the csap seat allotment three rounds there will be three three rounds and in that in those rounds you will have to take different type of decision that is after first round if you will get the seat then you will uh, you you have the option that accept the seat if you will reject then obviously you will be out of the counseling process and they will not consider you for the for upcoming round but but once you get the seat and you have accepted then you will have the chance that to slide for better better choice that is better campus or better branch with any fee slab or uh, the other choices 
with better slab only you want the same branch with better slab or the third one is with better branch as well as the slab should be same or less than that whatever i have got suppose you got slab 2 for any particular branch you want the better branch and better campus as well as you want the slab fee should be 2 or less than 2 that is 1 so in that case you will have to choose the third option here everything has been mentioned the three option in sliding window here uh, you can read uh, clearly whatever i have said the same has been written here so option a is, uh, is telling you are going for the better uh, better branch irrespective of slab and second uh, option is telling that you will go for better slab uh, with the same branch and also third one is the combination of both and i think many of you will choose this but be sure that it is not possible to get the better branch and better slab also because everyone will be doing the same so how it is possible because number of seat is limited and and a student are unlimited and one more thing once you go for the next round and you will get any other seat then your previous seat will be cancelled and you will not able to retain that seat at any cost so now i would like to introduce the philo app where you can get the solution of all your question doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to j or neat or boards examination then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps that is first you have to download the philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app and after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the india's best educator in question mein aap na kehna chahte hain ki bulb ki power kitni hai agar bulb jo hai wo 220 voltage par operate ho raha hai right is battery ka jo voltage hai wo aapko given hai 220 to ye aapko simple relation ho gaya yahan par अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो एप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट थैंक यू कॉस्ट इफ अ कैंडिडेट ऑप्ट फॉर स्लाइडिंग फॉर अ हायर प्रेफरेंस एंड डू नॉट गेट द हायर प्रेफरेंस द अर्लियर अलॉटेड सीट विल बी रिमेन दैट्स व्हाट आई सेड इफ यू विल गेट एनीथिंग देन योर प्रीवियस सीट विल बी कैंसिल्ड इफ यू विल नॉट गेट एनीथिंग देन योर प्रीवियस सीट विल बी रिजर्वड फॉर यू so now the second option is confirmed so once you get the seat in first round and you think that this is the best option for me and i want to take admission then you can do the accept and confirm then you will not able to participate in the next round of the counseling so so this is the this is the meaning of confirmed and waiting list means you haven't got any type of seat then you don't need to do anything no need to pay anything and you just need to wait for the next round of the counseling process so this was all about the uh, term and condition that you need to follow for the counseling process of amrita yeah one more thing uh, there is no concept of degrading or uh, degrading or downgrading the already allotted suppose if you got the uh, fifth academic preference in your choice filling then six and seven can't be allotted so be sure about this because choice filling will not be changed and you will not able to change so you have to fill it very care carefully otherwise even after filling the uh, required uh, choices you will not uh, you will not get the best one among them because the order will be incorrect so here is the important date that you need to consider for the you know, Amrita Counseling 2022 and this is the updated date as I had already suggested in my previous video they will change the date again and again. So here is the complete information of the date as you can see the registration process I think uh, I, I think was started from 7th but here they have written it, it is 5th of August it is completely wrong and uh, up to 15th you will able to do the registration that is up to today and uh, and on 17 there will be trial allotment and on 18 option to change the academic preference will be available for the student that is on 18th only so after getting the trial allotment please try to verify whether there is a need of change of academic preference or not and in that i will be helping you once you register with my guidance that is by paying a nominal charge so now uh, the first allotment will be done on 21st of august this is the very important information for all of you that is first round allotment that is the original allotment will be done on 21st of august and uh, second allotment will be done on 31st of august but before that you will have to pay the fee that is from 22nd to 28th you will have to pay the fee and that is one lakh only for every type of a student and once you accept the fee that is uh, accept and con uh, accept and confirm then you will have to pay the remaining fee also very soon to confirm your admission process and uh, now second allotment uh, initial fee will be done from 1st to 3rd of september and third allotment is the last allotment will be done on 6th of September after that if, if there will be any spot round I will try to inform you but as of now this is the schedule that's what uh, that's what I have provided you now this is the updated schedule if they will change anything I will try to provide you again in the same channel and the commencement of classes that is class will start from 21st of September as of now so here is the fee detail as I said 1 lakh will be will be required to pay for the seat allotted whatever seat you got irrespective of slab you will have to pay at least one lakh that is 
one uh, for the seat acceptance fee up to 21st uh, up to 28th of august you can pay for first round and the new registration for second round will start from 28th itself because because many students will uh, will miss the first round so all those students will able to do the first time registration for second round from 28th of august and uh, a second a second seat allotment uh, fee payment will be done up to third of third of september and the fresh registration will be done from third itself that is for the third round and after that you will not able to register because the third round is the last round so the for third round you will have to pay the fee up to 12th of september so this was all about the complete schedule of amrita counseling 2022 so now let's talk about the refund policy refund will be made according to ugc guideline i, I have already provided you the information up to which time you will get the refund for coimbatore there is a separate refund policy and for other campus there is a separate refund policy please try to go to amrita playlist you will be able to check the complete refund policy in the same channel so this was the complete information about the amrita counseling 2022 hope you get this information very useful this is the updated step by step all the process i have discussed all the rule and regulation everything so hope you get this information very useful so thanks again for watching this video please try to subscribe